everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is Stop Travels and I'm Melina. I'm a third year medical student at SGU, currently on my clinical rotations. And I'm just here to give you some tips and tricks on how to prepare and pack for going to the island for the first time. So I'm just gonna be listing some items that I think are helpful to bring from abroad. Of course, like this list is not exhaustive, but it's just some things that I think are important for you to bring. I also want you to note that a lot of these things you will be able to get on the island, so if you forget any of these things, it's okay. It's just more that it's good to keep in mind that in Grenada you'll find less variety um, of items and usually for a higher price um, and also sometimes for lesser quality. So. Yeah, so I've divided the list of items to pack into different categories. The categories are home goods, clothes, electronics, food, activities, and personal products. And yeah, I'm just gonna dive right into it. So for the first category, home goods, one thing that I recommend for sure bringing is bedding. So you wanna make sure you bring your sheets, whatever sheets you have at home that you like. And then you also want to make sure to bring like a blanket or something, whatever you want to use to cover yourself at night. Take into account that it's not very cold, it's actually very warm and humid. A lot of apartments do have AC, but just keep in mind that you probably don't want to bring anything too thick. Another thing that I would bring is pillows. The apartments will provide you pillows, but a lot of times they're not very comfortable. So if you, if you are able, if you have space, I recommend you bring some pillows. Another thing that I brought too from the States that improved the quality of my sleep a lot was a mattress pad. So I just bought like a $70 mattress pad from Amazon and it comes like all rolled up and I was able to fit it into one of my largest suitcases. And this was very helpful to have because a lot of the mattresses are very old and they're not very comfortable and the mattress pad will really improve how the mattress feels. So yeah, if you have space, that is something that you, know, you might consider bringing. I do want to add a side note and say that a lot of these things you can buy off of students that are leaving the island. However, most students will sell their items at the end of the term and if this is your first term on the island, you might want to bring a lot of these things just because you know students might have left already from the past term and it might be a little bit more difficult to find things to buy off from students. Also, you want to bring your bath towel, also like a shower curtain and um, particularly like the plastic one because those are like three dollars if you just go to like Walmart or Target to get them but if you buy them on the island they can be more expensive and they're also not great quality so if you can just bring like a plastic shower curtain that's really helpful as well you also might want to consider bringing some cookware a lot of apartments will have the basics so like plates, cutlery you don't have to worry about that and they'll also have like pots and pans but sometimes like these pots and pans have been used for generations and generations of students and they're not very good at being non-stick anymore. So if you're able to bring like your one good like frying pan, I definitely recommend you doing that. So one of the appliances that I recommend bringing is a crock pot. I bought like a hundred dollar Walmart crock pot um, and you know it was pretty small, I was able to fit it in my suitcase. And it was helpful because a lot of the animal proteins that are sold on the island, like chicken, beef, sometimes because they're not processed in the same way that they are in America, sometimes they can be a little bit like the texture is like a little bit like rougher and they don't have like the same taste. And the crock pot really helped with that because I would set it in the morning, just like leave for hours, and then when I would come back at night, it would be perfectly seasoned, the texture would be great, and so the crock pot tiny crock pot really helped me fix like that problem and making meat just taste better and more enjoyable. Another thing that I recommend getting was a little like toaster air fryer. I got it at Walmart again for like around a hundred dollars. It was like this big and you can use it as an air fryer as well. So I used it almost every day like whether I was like frying plantains or whether I wanted to just like air fry some little chicken or vegetables. It was just very useful and very great to have. Another thing that I recommend bringing is a blender. So they do sell blenders in the island, 
but the blades are not very good um, so they won't blend anything very good and blenders can be so helpful you know you can make smoothies you can make sauces you can make soup um, so I definitely recommend you bringing like Nutribullet with you to the island um, yeah so I think that concludes the home goods section and then the next one would be clothes so for clothes, so you want to keep in mind that Grenada is very hot and humid. So the main things you would want to bring is shorts and also like t-shirts. You definitely don't want to waste a lot of space in your suitcase for like long pants or long shirts. You might want to bring some like good hoodies because the study areas on campus do get really cold with the air conditioning. So having like a couple of good hoodies is good to bring. Another thing is if you're in the med school or the vet school, you might want to bring like three, three-ish pairs of scrubs and you also want to bring like three professional outfits, um, like business casual professional outfits because you will need them through your, through your time at the school. You also want to bring like an evening gown or like if you're a man, like a, a dress shirt that you can wear for like events, like club events or like for a night out, a date night out. The other thing to take into account is that half the year in Grenada is rainy season. So you want to bring an umbrella, you want to bring boots, rain boots. I messed up two of my sneakers just walking through puddles in Grenada so if you have brain boots it will greatly help you with that but you also want to bring with you you know swimwear like swimming suits sandals you want to bring with you sunglasses hats like be ready for the sun be ready for the beach one other thing that I recommend bringing is like a good pair of hiking shoes or like what I did is just go to Walmart and get like a cheap pair of sneakers because you want to have, if, if you like hiking and if you want to go to the waterfalls, your shoes are going to get muddy and they're going to get wet. So having a pair of shoes that you're okay, you know, not taking great care of or you're okay with them getting muddy, getting wet, is very helpful as well. So yeah, so that kind of concludes our clothes section. Then I'll talk a little bit more about electronics. So electronics are highly uh, taxed on Grenada. You'll get a slip from the university that will make you exempt from bringing a certain number of electronic items into the island. And you want to make sure you bring all the electronic items that you need. For your laptop in particular, you want to make sure that you have a laptop that is uh, compatible with the Examplify software that SGU uses for your weekly quizzes and also for your exams. If it's not compatible, you can always get loaner laptops when you're on the island. It just might be like more time consuming and they also discourage you from always having to use the loaner laptop. So they have a limited supply of loaner laptops so it's, and it's always more comfortable to just be able to use your own laptop for exams. So just make sure that whatever laptop you're bringing to the island is compatible with the Examplify software. The other thing you want to make sure you bring is like another pair of like a laptop charger like bring one and then bring a backup one and same for your phone because chargers can be difficult to find and expensive on the island everything is very highly taxed so and laptop chargers are already very expensive so when you buy them in Grenada it's like double triple the price so you want to make sure you have a plan B in case yours breaks while you're on the island another thing that people that students commonly need is Apple te pencil tips, very difficult to find in the island, so make sure you bring a little baggie they sell them on Amazon. And also like, you know, Apple pencil in particular, if you, I understand it might be too much to get a backup Apple pen, but just make sure you really take care of it while you're on the island. Because again, like buying any of these things on the island is going to cost you like double the price that it would cost you in the States. That concludes the electronics section, and now I'm going to proceed to talking about food. So I would recommend you watch the two videos that Tab made about um, grocery shopping and convenience stores in Grenada just so that you get an idea of what are the things that you can find and can't find at different grocery stores in the island and also picture a little bit more what your food budget is going to be for the time that you're in Grenada. 
I would also recommend going to Trader Joe's or whatever it is for you if it's Target or you know Costco and getting your favorite snacks your favorite study snacks the snacks you will find snacks on the island they, they're just not gonna be exactly what you can find here in the States and if you have little comfort things that you like to do or you like to eat when studying and when highly stressed it, it really makes a difference you know especially during exam time finals it's really nice to have something that you know tastes like home other things that I recommend bringing in terms of food is protein powder so there is like a limited variety of protein powders that they sell on the island is very expensive as well so if you have protein powder that you like I recommend bringing it you know, it's also very helpful to just have protein powder because sometimes these restaurants, you know, they don't open until late at night, the restaurants on the island. And also, you know, sometimes the students were so tired and you just want to go home, you want to eat something but not cook. And protein powder can help, kind of help out in that sense. The other thing I recommend is like vitamins, like bring your daily multivitamin because sometimes it's difficult to keep track of like, you know, am I having all my vegetables? Am I having all my fruits? And just like, you know, for me, it was nice to have a multivitamin that I can take every day and I know that I have my bases covered. So like any vitamins or supplements that you need, I would bring them to the island as well. So that concludes the food section. And then I want to talk a little bit about personal care products. So of course you want to bring a lot of sunscreen, right? Like we are going to an island where it's very sunny a lot of times and, you know, we are also healthcare a practitioner so we know about also you know skin cancer so you want to make sure you are protected and you always put on your sunscreen whatever sunscreen you use for your face whatever sunscreen you use for your body you want to make sure you bring that you also want to make sure you bring any skincare products that you use in your day to day so any serums that you like any particular soaps that you like moisturizers you want to make sure you bring that all from abroad because there's very limited brands of skincare that they do sell on the island. So I also recommend you bring any like your favorite shampoo, your favorite conditioner, your favorite body wash. Um, of course you'll be able to find shampoo, conditioner, body wash on the island. It just might not be like your favorite, you know, or the one that you normally use. And you know, for me it was really nice to after a long day be able to shower with like my favorite like aromatherapy body wash. Um, especially after a stressful day yeah so that's one thing the other thing is mosquito repellent so they do sell a lot of like mosquito repellent on the island but like certain brands like off which is very good they don't you won't be able to find it or you'll only be able to find it on certain stores so definitely bringing some with you is very helpful I also wanted to you know just tell you guys about these like little like mosquito repellent bracelets that we found so we bought this just like on Amazon and basically I'll show it to you so you can basically put it on. You can wear it multiple times. Um, of course it's the most effective when you first um, put it on. Um, but it's just citronella so it smells kind of like fruity. I don't know if you've ever smelled citronella before. Um, and it will repel mosquitoes from you without you having to spray something on. So having these. Um, was really nice like we brought a whole bunch um, that we bought on Amazon on a kit Yeah, those are just some some personal care products that I recommend you bringing for the last Category that I'll talk about is more like activities or kind of like miscellaneous So you want to think about the fact that you know when you're in Grenada The main things that you'll have to do outside of studying is like going to the beach or like you know if you plan a hike with friends or like maybe going to the local market but a lot of the things are going to be outdoor activities and you might want to bring with you some things to do for when you are you know wanting to do something else so for example that's like board games or like if you like puzzles or if you like you know coloring books like you might want to bring some of those with you just let you give yourself the option to if you want to just stay at home and do an activity at home this is especially important I think if you have kids because um, they sell very limited amount of like toys um, and things for kids to do on the island so you definitely want to bring activities for them if you have children and also going with the outdoorsy things of course like beach supplies so like a beach towel any like beach toys or like floaties as well but that's like 
that's mostly it that's everything that i have for you on my list if you can think of anything else or if you have any questions like let us know in the comments and thank you so much for watching subscribe uh let us know if you liked it or if you have any other video ideas or questions see you in the next video <laughs>